Two years ago, people power exploded in Kiev. Viktor Yushchenko became the symbol of the Orange Revolution. But never too far from his side was another aspiring leader. Yulia Tymoshenko was also recognized by the crowds as a beacon for change. It was Yulia Tymoshenko who stood at the front of the protesters, trying to reason with riot police as they faced off the crowd. Within a short time, she was celebrating her 44th birthday as a revolutionary hero. When Viktor Yushchenko became president, he appointed Timoshenko as prime minister but not for long. Last year, Yushchenko sacked her from the top job, leaving the Orange Coalition in tatters. When Ukraine's new parliament opened for business last month after fresh parliamentary elections, tensions within the Orange Coalition worsened. Although Timoshenko leads the biggest Orange party in parliament, Yushchenko has so far refused to appoint her Prime Minister again. I can say that in the Pomeranch coalition, our political force has gained the most support from the people in the Ukrainian Republic. The Premier Minister, practically a candidate on the side of the Premier Minister, is on the side of party lists. And as a rule, if people choose, he has the most support in the Parliament and takes the side of the Premier Minister. It's widely believed here that Yushchenko's reluctance to appoint her is because he fears that Timoshenko's immense popularity will one day cost him his job. He maybe uh, do not have a choice. If he will not give her power, she will become the main competitive of him in the next uh, presidential elections. So, and she will win. As the editor of Ukraine's only dedicated TV news network, Channel 5, Sviatoslav Segolko has watched Timoshenko's political development and is clearly impressed. She's very pretty, she's very clever, and uh, she's very foxy, maybe. She's like a fox. She's popular because she's a populist. You know, she's working all the days with her image and she wants to become like a TV star, something like that. With Yulia Timoshenko, it's hard to see where the image begins or ends. Although her trademark hair braid is fake, her success in an unforgiving male-dominated world has been quite remarkable. Her public life started in the 90s as a business executive. She quickly became Ukraine's richest woman. She made a fortune in metal exports, but by the late 90s, she'd expanded into Russian natural gas and was known as the gas princess. She was even appointed deputy prime minister in the former Russian allied Kuchma government. But in 2001, she found herself in court charged with corruption after falling out with the government and imprisoned for more than a month. It was an experience that gave meaning to her ambitions. She became the woman which has a purpose. And I think the main purpose to become the president of this country she gained uh, in the jail. So jail changed her life? Yeah, I think so. Mm. I think so. You can, you can see the different videos, the different videos of her face before jail and after jail. And so it's two different women. After leaving jail, Timoshenko switched sides and joined the opposition bloc, which eventually became the Orange Coalition.
Now, even though President Yushchenko has so far refused her the prime ministership, ever the politician, she denies there's any rift in the orange movement. Не в якому випадку в Україні після помаранчевої революції руйнується стара корумпована кланова мафіозна пострадянська система. І це ніколи не може пройти без болі. Це є продовження боротьби, продовження боротьби в побудові справжнього демократичного суспільства. І саме тому я вважаю, що в Україні відбуваються великі зміни і голосування на парламентських виборах підтвердило ще раз, що люди обирають помаранчеву коаліцію. But Timoshenko has a reputation for being feisty and difficult. She claims there is an organized campaign against her, including that she's impossible to work with. Да, зі мною важко працювати, тому що я не гаслами вимовляю, а я реально ламаю стару пострадянську корумповану систему. Система опирається, вона чинить супротив, і саме тому вона декларує, що зі мною важко працювати. It's the strength of her stand against the corruption of the old regime that has won Timoshenko widespread support amongst Kiev's middle class. Oleg and Lena are typical of her vast support base, and they don't consider Timoshenko's own tainted business history to be a barrier to her political ambitions. Это закон сегодняшнего времени на Украине. И Тимошенко со всеми своими скандалами, проблемами, в большей степени она как бы заслужила. Она, начиная с каких-то коррупционных скандалов, и в тюрьме находилась, и премьер-министром была, и отвечала за энергетику. Поэтому очевидно, что действительно она занималась, и действительно она очень хорошо знает все эти теневые схемы, и в этом сила ее, как будущего премьер-министра. Это угроза, угроза нашей жизни уже у нас на пороге. But for the old and poor in Ukraine, the loss of the socialist welfare system has hit them hard. This demonstration two weeks ago was against the loss of cheap Russian gas. The essence of the Orange Revolution was to free the country from Russia's influence, and access to Russia's gas is now the linchpin in that relationship. Before the Orange Revolution, Russia supplied gas very cheaply to prop up their old ally, former President Leonid Kuchma. But when Yushchenko took power, Russia refused to honour the old cheap gas contract and doubled the price. Desperate to solve the crisis, Yushchenko was forced to agree to the price hike and sign exclusive contracts with a shadowy go-between company called Ross Ukrainego. The deal was bitterly opposed by Yulia Timoshenko. Це народження нової хвилі залежності енергетичної України. І саме тому я хотіла вибудовувати стосунки з усіма країнами, які можуть постачати енергоносії в Україну, з туркмінсередників, які працюють в тіньовій сфері, без тіньових посередників. Sorting out the gas deal with Russia has now become the main focus of Ukraine's political standoff. They will try to uh, cause problems with gas to Ukraine closer to winter, when uh, they uh, will have a possibility to make pressure on Ukraine. And do you think that uh, Timoshenko can solve this problem or not? If she will, she will win the presidency of Ukraine. If she will not, and uh, Mr. Yushchenko will uh, decide this problem, he can he could win the presidency of Ukraine. I think so. Скажем так, в Украине исторически сложилось, что женщина, как правило, более сильна. Поэтому я думаю, что на самом, на самом деле, на самом деле, то если сравнивать Ющенко и Тимошенко, то у Тимошенко, как говорится, есть очень серьезный внутренний стержень, 
который не дает ей согнуться ни при каких проблемах. In the current political standoff, it's likely that whether she's appointed prime minister or not, she will remain a prime candidate in the presidential election due in 2008. She's cleverly positioned herself as a popular leader with the strength of conviction to stare down those who would thwart the aims of the Orange Revolution.